Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density. I'm very excited because I am in the middle of my potato reset, two week potato reset, and I'm absolutely loving it so far. I wanna show you what I'm eating today as a busy mum, out and about all day long. Um, I, I think we're literally gonna be out all day and how I prepare potato reset wise to get ready to go out all day so I do not get hungry and I don't um, fall off my potato reset bandwagon. So let me show you, I've got so much food together. It really did not take me long to put together. It literally took me like half an hour. So I'm just amazed because I've got so much food. It is ridiculous. I am not gonna go hungry at all today. So I like to start with my day with veggies, obviously. So I've cooked up a full purple cabbage and head of broccoli that's in there. Then I've also got in here, I fancy something sweet, so I've got some cinnamon sweet potato fries and three little carrots. That's kind of like one little mealy snack thing. Then I've got a mountain, a mountain of steamed potatoes. I thought I would just fill the Instant Pot full and I'll just take them because I can never have too many potatoes. And also I know my kids are gonna steal them too. And as if that wasn't enough, I thought I would just leave it there. And I was like, what if I get hungry? What if I stay out for longer? I don't know what's gonna happen. And it's always good to go much more prepared than you ever think you're gonna need. So I've also got three baked sweet potatoes. So yes, it looks ridiculous, but I'm super prepared for the day and I'm gonna have a fantastic day of eating even though we're out and about all day long. So let's go. We are just chilling in Starbucks. Romy is absolutely wild, she's <laughs> crazy. Um, I'm just having a nice tea and Romy's having a banana. So we've just picked up Abe and we're in the car. We're gonna to head to Jasmine Food Market, which should be really fun. And I just am starting the day with, so obviously I've got all my veggies, but I totally forgot to bring a fork and I forgot to get one of Starbucks. But anyway, um, going in with these carrots and some lovely sweet potato fries. These are delicious. Okay, so I've got my leftover carrots. I've packed loads of the steamed potatoes and I've got them in my little bag. And I finished all my little fries and I'm bringing one massive sweet potato with me, so. Can we go yet? Can we tell me when we can go? That's my plan. Couldn't eat my veggies yet. I'm going to try and get a fork here yeah. at the Jasmine Market yeah. so I can eat my veggies later. Oh. So we've just sat down at this lovely little picnic area. Everyone else to have a lovely snack. People are having apples and they bought this massive gigantic thing of bread. Um, so everyone's just snacking on that. I'm not hungry yet. Um, I've got loads of potatoes with me, but I'm not in the mood for them. It's about 12 o'clock, so it's still pretty early and I've eaten loads already, so I don't need any food. Hello, hello guys. So it's about three o'clock and we are back at home. Um, and it's so funny, everyone is asleep. <laughs> Romy, Abe and James, they're all just flat out on the couch and I've managed to get some work done. So that was actually really, really lovely. But I wanted to give you a quick little update on what I've actually had to eat today, um, which actually is not very much. I really haven't been super hungry. Um, no idea why, maybe it's just the day or maybe it's just me getting into the full swing of the potato reset and the monotony of it is meaning that I literally am only eating when I'm actually hungry. I'm not sure. I might get super hungry later. I don't know. But basically, I still didn't find a fork. So I haven't eaten all my veggies and I feel bad about that. And I only had one carrot. Again, what was that? What was that? what's a girl to do? I think I had one or two potatoes, like a small ones though, like that size. Um, I obviously had my cinnamon fries and um, I got my sweet potatoes left in there. I did eat one sweet potato on the go, obviously, but that's it. I haven't had anything else. And it's three o'clock, so I don't feel like I've eaten that much in terms of like volume. Maybe it's because I usually eat my massive amount of veggies or something. But anyway, I just, I'm not super hungry, but what I am gonna do, everyone else is still asleep, and I thought I would take this opportunity to quickly go and do a little rebounding session, because I've just finished some work, and I thought, I may as well do that. And then I was thinking about what to have this evening, um, and I'm aware that my family might get bored of potatoes. So I was asking James what they fancied eating today, and I was giving them loads of options, and I said, and then they were wondering what I was gonna have, and I said, well, I'm thinking about making a cheesy broccoli hash brown bake, and they were like, oh my God, I wanna have that. So everyone's gonna jump on, <laughs> jump on board and have a cheesy broccoli hash brown bake with me. I'm very excited about it because I haven't had that yet. Um, there is just an unlimited amount of things that you can do with potatoes. Potatoes are amazing. Potatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, you can just turn that into so much good stuff. So anyway, so my thoughts are, 
and don't want it to take ages in the oven again. So I'm obviously going to do my pre-steamed potatoes, just grate all those babies up. I'm going to lightly steam some broccoli because I don't want that to be raw. And I'm just going to kind of like grate that up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to make my cauliflower cheesy sauce, which is in my meal plan, um, my potato reset meal plan. So feel free to go and check that out um, if you want to. But it's basically a lot of really lovely, delicious stuff blended up with cauliflowers. Um, and so and then I'm going to smother that all on together, mix it all up and then bake it in the oven. And that is going to be darn delicious. And I'm going to try and make loads and loads and loads because I know everyone else is going to love it and they're going to eat loads too and I'd like some for tomorrow if I can so anyway those are my thoughts for this evening but before I even entertain any of that stuff I'm going to make sure I eat all my veggies obviously um, these are the potatoes I'm going to use for grating grating but anyway I'm going to go and do my lovely bouncing um, oh I did also just want to show you this really cool little jumper so I was wearing a jumper earlier today which now has mud all over it and this one and I was wearing my little beanie and those are all from uh, my friend's shop um, and she gave some to me because um, I was trying to find some over Christmas um, and they were all completely out of stock but then she had some in stock so I, it's um, I'll link it down below if you want to go and check it out it's called Laundry Day but they're just oh they're so snuggly and just like fleecy inside and they've got some really cute just like not over the top designs but just like really really lovely ones um and yeah i'm just really enjoying them so while it's still a bit chilly you'll probably see me in them quite a lot um but yes anyway i'm gonna go and do some bouncing okay so i did a short little bounce and i thought actually i would make the most of this time and do my cheesy hash brown bake right now so they can go in the oven and i don't have to eat it like midnight again so i'm just gonna Grate up these bad boys, sort some broccoli out, make the cheesy sauce, put it all together. But in the meantime, I also got a little bit hungry as well. So I'm going to whack my oh delicious smelling veggies in the microwave real quick, heat those up, eat this and eat my carrots so that I have got all my veggies going on before I dive into my other stuff. Okay, so I've just grated up so many potatoes, it's ridiculous. And I was just went to get the broccoli out of the fridge and I was like, how can we add more veggies into this? And I was like, <gasps> grated courgettes, so I'm going to grate up three courgettes. I'm, I'm going to save, I've got five, but I'm going to save two for my breakfast tomorrow because I love it in breakfast. Um, so yes, extra veggies all the time. Whenever I'm making a meal, I'm always thinking to myself, how can I squeeze more veggies into every single element of this meal? Um, and when you get into the habit of having those thoughts... That is just so powerful because you just you get all the veggies in, you lower the calorie density, bump up the nutrition. It's perfect. So I have got so much stuff in here. It's ridiculous. I haven't even poured the cheese sauce in yet, and I just don't think there's going to be enough space. So I think I'm going to have to move this into like multiple different vessels. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I have found a way to pretty much make this lifestyle work no matter what I'm doing, uh, whether I'm going out for the day, whether I'm camping for week at a time whatever it is I can make it work and I was just thinking about why that is and why some people struggle um obviously there's so much to be said for um having a clean environment and getting habits in place finding core meals that you really love rotating those having a few special treats um learning to eat enough food so that you're not starving there's so many things to unravel which is why um people um, struggle to find success in this way of eating they need to input all of those things first but the other thing I was thinking about is you have to have a strong reason why you have to have a big motivator that keeps you going otherwise it's so easy just to go oh you know I've reached this far it's fine I'll just have a donut it doesn't really matter it's just one donut. and obviously you can also do that as well I choose not to do that because for me it is a slippery slope if I have a donut then I'll think about more you know and I just I don't even want that in my life and I don't even need that. I don't crave that at all. Um, but I was thinking about my strong motivator. Not only is it to show my kids about health and to have a lot of energy for my kids and all that kind of stuff and to live a long time and be vibrant. Um, and, I, you know, I don't like being overweight. It's not a fun feeling. So also, you know, not going back to that. But also the other thing is, um, you know, this is also now my job. So that is also a strong motivator for me at the moment. You know, often I don't know how much I would think about creating really exciting, but tasty, delicious, healthy recipes if this wasn't also what I did for my job. So it's a really weird one to unravel. And I just wanted to be honest with you guys about that. Um, but I think what you can hopefully take from that is 
you need a strong motivator, whatever it is. If you're trying to embark on this journey, don't just go into it willy nilly. Get specific as to why you're wanting to do this journey and why it's so important to you. So that when you have moments when you're like, oh God, I'll just eat a pizza or, just, or whatever those moments are, hard times, you can go somewhere and you can have a look at your reasons why. Because that will bring you back and that will kind of do full six, full 360 and take you back to basics and... Um, you really have a strong motivator there. So anyway, I was just thinking about that um, while I was chopping up my stuff. But yes, find your motivator. If you want me to try and do, attempt to do, a full video about the steps that I feel are most important for maximum weight loss and how to be consistent in this way of eating, let me know down below. I can kind of unravel all of those things I mentioned earlier in more detail. I know a lot of you guys are like full starch solution babes and you've been following this way of eating for so long and you don't need me to tell you any of these things but there might be some people who are just starting out and who might need a little bit of help um you know so also if you've got any good tips um from old school starch solution people drop them down below so that the people who are just embarking on this venture um can have a little look and see what tips has worked best for everyone who is successful in this way of eating um anyway i am gonna go and whip up my cheesy salt practically snorted it in oh, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. A good one for you. Mm -hmm. That's true. Romy is eating the cheesy sauce. She's loving it. Ava's just helped me get all of this ready. So in here, we've got a mountain of cheesy vegetable potato goodness and then the cheesy sauce on the top. And cheesy bait. That's right. And we're going to stick it in the oven and probably wait a good three hours, but hopefully not because we're all getting a bit hungry. Okay, so just playing with the kids. The um, cheesy bakes in the oven, but I'm getting a little hungry, so I think I'm just gonna snaffle on a couple of these little plain mm, steamed potatoes. I'm just eating them cold. When you're hungry, they're really delicious. Mm. And mm, I found a little matcha green tea bag that we had hiding away up there, and it's actually, mm, it's actually really nice. I think I'm gonna. Try having that a little bit because um, I know matcha is meant to be really good for you. I know Gregor talks about matcha all the time and how you should try and get a lot of matcha into your life. Um, where? Okay, it is all ready and it is delicious. Let me show you. Okay, fine, we've dug into it, but look at this crispy, cheesy top and the like a squidgy, cheesy interior. It is very, very, very tasty. So obviously there are loads and loads and loads of veggies in here already, but I wanted to pair it with a little bit extra veggie. And I just fancies, fancied some fresh tomato -y goodness. So I know it just looks like a pile of stuff, but um, this is gonna be super delicious and um, I'm very excited to get into it. Um, so I'm gonna go and stuff my face now. No, I haven't finished all of those veggies. Um, for some reason there was like crunchy bits in it. And I was like, mm, just a bit like off-putting. I'm not quite sure. I might eat it later. I might not, depending on how many more crunchy bits I find. Hi guys, so it's about half 10. Um, and I just wanted to give you a quick little update. So I had such a yummy dinner. Like that dinner was just so, so, so delicious. Um, and I ended up having another round as well. Um, I was gonna have, a, I was gonna have round two initially as soon as I finished round one. And then I just wasn't sure if I was hungry or not, even though it tasted so yummy that I wanted some more. So I decided to take a little break. So I had a break for like half an hour or 45 minutes. And then I realized I was still hungry. So I went and had round two. <laughs> it was so yummy. Um, but anyway, everyone is now asleep. I've got all my work done. I'm super tired because it was a late night last night. So I'm just gonna go to bed. Um, but I'm excited tomorrow because I'm gonna be doing all of my potato uh, reset meal plan um, purchasing. I'm going to go to the shops and buy everything I need and I'm going to do it all my prep as well. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. Oh, and I did want to say, sorry, I know I'm spinning around a lot. I like to walk while I talk just to get that movement in. It's subconscious, obviously. Um, <clears throat> I did want to say for anyone who has um, got my meal plan and who's interested in joining the private Facebook group. Um, it took me ages. I'm so not a technological person. Oh my God, I hate technology. It took me ages to figure out how to make it 
a group that could be found by other people. So anyway, that was a nightmare. So I will leave a little link down below that you can click on that will take you straight there. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to chat to you guys. Um, I'll do the best that I can in terms of being on there and being present. Obviously, it's a great opportunity for everyone in there to chat to each other about the potato reset as well. Um, I'll do my best time-wise. You, know, you guys know I'm a busy baby and I've got kids and all those things. Um, but yes, anyway, I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow.